Welcome to the first episode of the Gaming with Danny series. In these videos, I'm going to show you some awesome rides you can create in OpenRCT2, like this recreation of the Frog Hopper ride you might have seen in some amusement parks. It's normally a kiddie ride, and here in OpenRCT2, I've recreated that bouncing motion here in this little guy I call Leapfrog, but it pretty much acts as a kiddie ride. It gets great stats, you know, all medium for excitement, intensity, and nausea. But yeah, this is a very simple ride to create. So here you can see the ride vehicle gets launched upwards and then bounces a few times before eventually returning to the station. And then it will go for one more launch and do the same thing. So fun little ride you can add to your park and easy to make, I'll show you now. First, we need to enable some cheats. So you go up here to cheats and open RCT2. We're gonna go to the ride cheats and you're gonna make sure you wanna have the allow chain lifts on all track pieces turned on, like so. And we also wanna have unlock operating limits. Make sure that's turned on. And we also want to have allow arbitrary ride type changes. And then if you want to change the ride vehicle like I have, you need to make sure you have show vehicles from other track types turned on as well. So let's get started. So you're gonna build your launch free fall. Now if you want to use a ride vehicle like the laydown roller coaster or the flying roller coaster, you're gonna want those cars to be facing the path. So you wanna make sure that the arrow here is facing the opposite direction that you want the cars to face. So I'm gonna have the arrow pointing away from the path. And now we're going to make the ride three units high. So for this first unit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you turn on the chain lift. So we're gonna do one. And I'll just mark it here so you guys can see it a little better. And for the next unit, we wanna turn the chain lift off, do two more, and that's all there is to it. So I'll make an entrance and exit and we'll change the ride vehicle to the lay down roller coaster just so you can see what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna to want to have the upward launch set down to 15. And then we are going to want to change it from launch free fall to any roller coaster that has a chain lift. So we're gonna change the lift chain speed to 12. Now anything lower than 12 and this won't work, and if you go higher than 12, it's gonna start not operating as it should. You can maybe do 13 miles an hour, but 12 seems to be the sweet spot. Now make sure you change it back to the launch free fall. You wanna make sure you do that last step uh, while the ride's closed, because when it's open and you change the launch free fall to a roller coaster, sometimes it crashes. So let's see if this operates as it should. So we launch up. And then the chain lift on that track piece is preventing the car from returning to the station. But after a few bounces, it will indeed return. So basically the ride will get enough momentum from that 12 mile per hour upward chain lift to propel it up high enough to then be able to fall down and bypass the chain lift. Now, when the ride breaks down, you'll see that it will get stuck on the chain lift like so. But when you reopen it, Eventually, it will bounce a few more times than normal, but it eventually will bypass the chain lift. Now, if you do it slower than 12 miles per hour, it won't work. It'll just get stuck there and never return to the station. All right, so we got some decent stats here, medium across the board. That's all there is to it. But let me show you a few other ride designs. We have a little taller version of this with the downward launch. And Let's go. So basically, this one's gonna be six units tall. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then on the fourth unit, we're gonna make sure the chain list's turned on. And I will color that for you guys. There we go. And then you're gonna go two more, and that's all there is to it. Sorry, I just can't stand that green color. All right, put an entrance, exit, and this one, we're gonna change to the downward launch mode, so something a little different. And make sure we change 
the lift speed to 12 and change it back to launch free fall. And there we go. So this one's gonna go up slowly and then it's gonna get a little bit of a boost right there from the chain lift. It's gonna return to the station and on the second launch, it's gonna have a nice bouncing action there. Now sometimes the ride might bounce more than the last time, it just really depends. It can be all over the place sometimes. So it's kind of fun that every ride can be different. But another really simple design. Let's see if we get some good stats on that one. Yep, so this one's a little bit more intense. Got high ratings for our last design. This will be the tallest of the bunch. Now this one is gonna be 10 units high, but on the seventh unit, we're going to create the chain lift and turn it off for the last three. I'll mark that one there, one, two, three. There we go. And let's try the roto drop for this one. And upward launch, we're gonna set it to 47. And we're gonna change that chain lift to 12 miles per hour. And back to launch free fall. Give it an entrance and exit. And now this one should launch up. And we'll have some nice bouncing action before it will eventually return for a second launch. This is the design that I find it sometimes can spend quite a long time up there bouncing before returning. It really just depends on each launch, probably the weight of the vehicles. But yeah, these are all pretty simple designs in OpenRCT2 for you guys to recreate. Really fun, really easy. I just wanted to share this with everyone because I thought it's a great idea and I haven't really seen it on anyone else's videos because uh, I do like Marcel Voss and Dirk Link's videos. Uh, I get a lot of ideas from them. But uh, yeah, feel free to play around with it. Maybe you can come up with some better designs than what I have done. But I think these are really fun. Let's see if we got stats for that last one. Yeah, so this one's only got medium, high intensity, medium nausea. So my favorite is going to be this first one, the nice standard frog hopper that I came up with, a nice kitty ride. But you guys decide which one you like the best. This all could make great additions to your park. And then, you know, throw some fun scenery object on the top and you got a frog hopper. But thanks for watching. I would love to create more videos for you. So please subscribe to this channel. It's brand new. I have a lot of ideas for other rides that I want to show you how to create and they're all pretty simple. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.